Hi everybody. Hi everyone, it's Lisa. I want to come on today and film my Ipsy bag for you. And yes, um, this is a visitor band. I meant to cut it off, but I have to find the scissors. Um, if you want to know, my husband's in the hospital. Uh, he went in Tuesday. Today's day is Sunday. Uh, he went in Tuesday to the emergency room. He wanted to go. I asked him. I came home Monday and he was wheezing really bad in his, you know, that night. Um, so I asked him if he wanted to go. And he does have ammonia. Uh, he's He is having some difficulty uh, with eating right now because uh, he is aspirating a little bit more severe. I mean, it's weird because they took a swallow test and he did good where they were having him on mint meat like the, they had to mince the food and then I kept saying no he can't eat that it's uh it makes him cough more um because I can't give him hamburger and rice and stuff like that because he has a problem with it and then they said well we can put it on chop they chop it it was basically the same as mince now they're saying no they're not giving him no food at all um Nothing per mouse. They want to put another G tube in him and have him have do tube feedings again. Um, he said no. Of course, I'm going to say no because he doesn't want it and I'm not going to force him to get it. Um, he's like, he's at this point where he's like, if he has to get that, then what's the point of living anymore? Because then he's not making any progress. And he still needs help with everything. This, the stroke that he had almost three years ago really, really did some damage to him um i don't see him ever being 100 percent we're just trying to get him as close as we can to maybe where he can start doing stuff on his own and if he has to get this g-tube in it's just gonna you know it's just it's just he's just gonna be bad it's just gonna make him so depressed and not want to live um but the doctor after we said no with that, and they were saying something about um, that they had to follow the guidelines where the other doctor, whoever, said nothing per mouth, that they can't give him anything. Uh, so I went down to the cafeteria. I got him something to eat, and he did eat. He didn't do bad. I mean, he yes, he did cough. Yes, he still has that problem, um, but... He did. He ate. And he doesn't have much of an appetite right now, so he ate a little bit. So he's 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 going to be okay. Um, I just told him, let me just take him home. Um, but they want him to go home with some oxygen because his oxygen level is low, which that was another reason why I took him to, uh, because his oxygen wasn't in the high 90s where they want it. And that's where we know that he had a, uh, I knew he had ammonia, and I know it. The antibiotics that the doctor gave him in June really must not have did anything because he was still still coughing a lot and he was still bad. So um, he's in the hospital. He should. He wants to. Learn, I'm gonna probably. I'm gonna bring him home tomorrow. Uh, the doctor wants him to come home with oxygen, so she has to make the arrangements for that because I am taking him home because, like I said, they're not giving him anything per mouth. Um, so I, I'm bringing him back home and he doesn't, he doesn't want to be there anyway. He's, he's ready to come home anyway. I'm sorry. Uh, I just wanted to let y'all know, uh, that's what this is for. Cause I was there. Uh, it's 11 o'clock. I got home about an hour ago and I want to fill my Ipsy bag really fast for you. Sorry for the long intro here. So this is last month's bag with June. I did not do the sheet mask. I just, I haven't had time. With the remodel and with my bathroom, now with him in the hospital, I totally forgot about him. I did. I forgot. And I just really haven't been doing that much. I have not been wearing makeup. Um, I come home, I really don't even have to wash my face because I have no makeup on. I just have my moisturizer or I have sunscreen. And yes, guys, I am wearing fingernail polish. At work now, we are allowed to have fingernail polish, so I just did my nails again tonight. Um, while I was at the hospital with him, I brought my stuff with me, and I 
I need to redo my nails, so I redid my nails, and they're kind of like a green color today, so we're feeling a little green today. Whatever, you know, sorry, I'm, I'm a little tired, I'm, I'm worried about now. Um, what would I do? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to force him to get this G2. I'm not, I'm not going to do it, so. So, let's go back, forget about this and like I said I didn't have chance to do the mask but I I'm going to keep them because I do want to do them they're supposed to be pretty good so I do want to do do these masks you know the hydration and the brightening but with the like I said with the bathroom being redone and now the hems he, now he's in the hospital and working and stuff I had been off work I luckily have some vacation that I'm taking so I can be with him and um, I called her today and let her know because I thought I was going to be going back to work tomorrow. Because so I did work uh, Saturday because I was the manager on duty. And I just wanted a little a break, you know. Um, so I did go back. I went to work Saturday. Day Sunday, I did ask if I can take off Sunday because I thought he was going to come home. And then all this broke loose about they want to put the G2 back in him and everything. So, yeah. Okay. The bo lip, the, the bomb, um, I like this. I do like it, but I, it's not my favorite because after, I noticed after it wear off, my lips really still didn't feel hydrated afterwards. It didn't leave them moist and hydrated after this wear off. So, it's something constantly you have to put on. And I don't have time for that. When I want a lip balm or a chapstick or whatever... When I put that on, I want it to last for a while because I don't constantly have time to stop what I'm doing and put more on this, you know, more uh, lip balm on. So it's all right, but it's not my favorite and it wouldn't be something I would purchase. I'm not even sure if I'm going to finish using it. So after it wears off, my lips still feel dry. Yeah. The blush, I did, I like the blush, the sugar blush, but. I had to be careful with it because it's a little bright on me. Um, I'm pale. I have no color, you know, besides my arms, you know, getting sun because I am trying to, you know, be careful of getting sun on me. So it was a little bright. So I just had to be a little careful with it, but it is nice and I will continue to use it. I will put that with my blushes that I have. I don't have like a big collection of of blushes, but I do like that one. I did try this Tony Moly um, jelly cleanser. It's okay. Um, I'm still kind of like using the the Beatman's 1802 uh, facial cleanser, the soap bars. I do like them. They're more hydrating for me, and I I just kind of like the Beatman stuff now. But you know, I put it <clears throat> back in my bathroom, and if I feel like using it, I could use it. The primer, I'm sorry guys, I did not even get a chance to use this primer from the First Day of Beauty. I haven't really been wearing any makeup. It's been too hot. Uh, I mean, you put makeup on and it sweats off. So, there's a few things I didn't really use and a few things I didn't really care about. Um, just don't have a lot of time. Didn't have a lot of time this month to really, you know, use some some stuff. Um, but let's go and look in this bag. I did sneak peek when I first got it. I do remember one thing I liked, but I can't remember what else I got in this bag. And here's the bag. It's a nice color. It's a nice summery color. All right, let me see. I think I had a brush. Yeah, oh, cool, yes. This I do, I do like. I could always use a new brush that has a spoolie on it. So I'm figuring this is a brush you can do your eyebrows. Me, I mean, I like this part, but for this part, I would use this as a eyeliner brush if I'm doing either. Um, I usually use black eyeshadow if I want to put eyeliner on. That's what I would use that for. So this is a nice brush. So I says so this is an eyebrow brush. I don't think they gave us eyebrow stuff. I don't remember. 
And I didn't glow to highlighter. <laughs> I really need highlighter. So there we have a, a highlighter. <sighs> a little tired. Sorry. There we go. I think I got something like this color already. So I might, I think I'm going to pass this. Yeah, I'll check. I think I have a, a color similar to this. And I really don't use a lot of highlighter. So I think I want to pass this along to somebody else. Because I won't use it. Let me see. And I'm pulling out a Smashbox uh, matte lipstick, I believe. I did try this. It's all right. It did leave my lips a little dry, but not so severe that it was uncomfortable. But I think the color, I, the colors, the color's not bad. I don't think the color was bad. I think I need a, a lip liner. Um, I don't know, but I'll, I'll try it some more and see how it is. Like I said, I only tried that one time. I didn't leave it on that long. Then I got right tin. Some kind of oil. It says oil. So I'm not sure. It's supposed to be like a brighten oil. A brighten, brightening oil. I have, to, I have to look up the thing for this. I'm sorry if I'm not kind of, you know. It's just a lot going on right now. And I'm just trying to hurry up and get this done. Let's see. This brightening oil. Brightening oil. Yeah, I guess it's supposed to be good for your skin. It has vitamin C. Yeah. Some oils and coconut oils to leave you refreshing, rejuvenated. Okay. Excuse me, guys. Whoa, I like said I'm tired. And this one, they sent me out an email and they give you a choice of where well, you can pick something. And I picked this. Um. This is uh, the Kula, 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 whatever, you know. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's a sunscreen. Oh, I've been wanting to try this uh, brand. Uh, it's a mineral sunscreen cream. I'm sorry, a mineral sun silk cream sunscreen. Sun, sunscreen. SPF, I'm not sure. I can't see. SPF 30. And I've been wanting to try this, so. I am definitely looking forward to that. And it's sealed, which, that's great. I like that. I like that they seal it. So, the bag, overall, is not bad. I mean, the only thing I really don't need is the highlighter, because I really don't wear any highlighter. But I guess I could try it. It's a, called Moon Dust. The highlighter is called Moon Dust. I don't know. I might just try a little bit and see how it is whenever I wear makeup again. Because, like I said, I haven't really been wearing a lot of makeup. It's been too hot. And then now with the stuff going on with my husband, I just really haven't been in the mood to uh, put makeup on. But maybe I'll get a chance to try some of these products and see how they are. All right, guys, I want to go and get off here and go to bed and then go back to the hospital in the morning and see what's going on with him. Um, I'll get this video up as soon as I can. Probably by the time I get it up, I'm pretty sure he'll be home or I'll, I'll try to um, upload it. Try to upload it in the morning. Uh, I'd be surprised. It'd be three videos out. Three videos in one week, huh? If I upload this tomorrow morning. All right. Uh, um, that's it. If y'all want to go ahead and go ahead and have a good night. Um, and I'll get this up as soon as I can and I'll let y'all know what's going on. Okay. All right, everybody have a nice night and I will talk to y'all later. Good night. As soon as I get this off. Good night. <laughs>